Hello guys, thank you for being here. Let me show you how to add an Instagram post using Canva. Canva is a free tool and gives you beautiful, easy to change designs to speed up your content creation. First, open a Canva account and the link is right in the comments area below this video. Next, in the Canvas homepage, look for an Instagram post. This way you have the exact measurements and styles and it will be easy for you to find the template. Select the template that you like and the best thing about Canva is that you can later duplicate and change it slightly every design for a more consistent look. After searching the tons of options, I am going to select this quote that will modify with a few clicks. Let's do it. The very first step is to rename the file with something meaningful. And notice that it will save the new file automatically on top. Next, let's change the background color of the post by clicking the background choices on the left and then we're going to change the font color to black. I see that this background needs to be changed. You can preview the changes of other choices by double clicking on them. See how it works. Let's make the font slightly bigger by selecting the drop down on top. You can also change the type of font and even add filters that are similar to Instagram. You can play with the menus on top so you can have more effects. One of my favorite features in Canva is that you can drag and drop the text and any images to add to the post. Let's add a graphic to show you how easy this is. I am searching for flowers in this example, and once I see the one that I like, I just double click on it. To make this pose more interesting, I am copying the flower by right clicking on the image, select copy, then right click again for paste, or you can use the familiar shortcuts of Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl V for pasting if you want. Then you can flip it so it can be on the left side of the post as well. If you look carefully on the left, you have some items that are free and others with a crown are available with a subscription, or you can pay for each image individually. If you're starting with Canva, try the free version first to test it out. Then you can decide if you want the subscription, which does have tons and tons of images. Finally, I am going to make a copy of this post, which I can change with another quote and image. This is great for branding, so you keep a consistent feel and look on your posts. You can make as many copies and variations as you need, and at the end, you can download them as individual images. That will save you a lot of time and work, so you can work on one single file 
and I'll show you how can you download them individually. When you press the download button, you have so many ways to share it, even in Google Drive, Pinterest, Facebook, and many more. I decided in my case to download them as individual PNGs, which are images um, that are high quality, and see how I can just select one page at a time or one image at a time. When I press download, it automatically goes to my computer's download folder, but you can select a different folder if you need to. Once you're finished, you can close the pop-up that you see here, and you can continue editing or download the next image. We hope you find this tutorial useful and click below in the comments for more resources, including the Canva sign-up link. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.